guys. This week on Awesomecaster, Riz joins us once again. We talk about Vine, a couple of iOS games, oh yeah, and a couple of browsers just making friends with each other. Awesome, guys. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Chachi Plays for Kids. Find out how you can participate and donate. ChachiPlays.com. Guys, it's the Osmocast 135, and yes, if you hear dogs, we are still running the sword kennel upstairs, but they go go into a good home. Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you've been following me on Twitter. I am Sorgatron. I am Mike Sorg here from the studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, back from a week hiatus after feeling a little a little under the weather, Josh. A little bit under the weather. How you doing yeah, this week? Minutes before <laughs> show. Minutes before this show. This very show. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm doing well. It's mm-hmm. a busy week here at Chachi, Chachi Land. Chachi Land at, yeah. at Chachi Industries. Yeah, Chachi Inc. Chachi Inc. Chachi Inc. We uh we got Chachi Plays mm-hmm. coming up Friday. Yep, yep, yep. Um, which if you're listening to us, anytime after this has been recorded, uh, it's February eighth, and this is currently February fifth, I think. Is today the fifth? No, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. February 5th. And uh, I'll be sitting down in just a few days to play 24 hours of video games straight in public. So if you're in Pittsburgh, go over to uh, chachaplace.com and come down and check us out. There you go. There you go. And, of course, this is the awesome cast. Well, our guest, uh, we were going to have somebody on. Uh, we're not sure if they're, why they're not online or anything uh, at the moment, so we're just going to roll with it and just talk to us. Chachi, you and I are going to have a conversation about technology. And, and and I know Rob hasn't been here for a while. And what are you doing over there? Are You you know, we, we stopped the music a while ago. I know, but the song is stuck still in my going, head. I got five on it. Yeah, I do. I got five on it. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. Sorry. Oh, my, 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 my oh we got a messenger <laughs> or message from the anonymous uh, Awesome Cast GM. Oh, uh, it looks like our guest is going to be joining us shortly, so we'll get him online here. But Sweet. in the meantime, yeah, I just got a DM from him. He just got hey, in the door. He Sorg. threw it up his Skype. Sorg. It's okay. What? Uh, so at the beginning of the year, yeah, you started this new thing. Awesome, awesome uh, thing of the awesome week. Awesome thing of the week, yes. What was your awesome thing of the week this, this week? This week, my awesome thing of the week... Um, and this is actually my awesome thing of last week. I didn't tell him any contact info or anything, Chach. Oh, You're getting ahead of us here. I'm sorry. We're getting ahead of us. Because, Chachi, where, where can they find stuff about us? Oh, well, you can go over to awesomecast.com mm-hmm. where all the shows are posted as well as contact information for us. We're on the iTunes. We are on uh, Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter, at AwesomeCast. Uh, uh, I don't know what other audio outlets we are available on. Sorg? Uh, that sounds about right. I, okay. I think you got and all the important ones. You can contact, you, you can it. email us. We like mail of any kind, good or bad. Contact at awesomecast.com. And joining us is the Riz, Zach Rizza at the E Riz uh, at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. One of my cohorts Insert from over there. Dot com. And uh, yeah, insertcointobegin.com. Uh, what else am I on? I'm on <laughs> Facebook if you want to follow me there. MySpace, I still have. Whatever MySpace. you guys want, I have. MySpace. It. Did you sign up for the new, the new MySpace? There's a new MySpace? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't okay. worry about it. You're not missing much. Well, that's Chosh. Hey. hey. Um, but hey, uh, like, you know, we'll, we'll give the, the, the. Um... <laughs> So, uh, Chachi, now yes. we can go into that thing you were talking about. Oh. What are you opening over there? Well, it, I, it, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it? Yeah. Is it going to be your thing of the week? No, one of. Um, <laughs> All right. So we, we like here at the Awesome Cast to point out something awesome that we discovered during the week that blew our minds. Yeah, yeah, you know, something that's really like, hey, that's a cool thing. Let's, uh, we text social media, just something awesome in yes. general, right? Something so, geeky. So, Sorg. Yes. What blew your mind this well, week? Well, like I said, this is something from last week. Um, <laughs> you guys probably heard all the buzz over, over Vine, right? Vine, are you familiar with it? I've heard you, of, it. Heard of it. it. You've heard of it, it. you guys? I haven't used guys? it yet. So, basically, it's this application for iOS, um, which is probably why you haven't used much of it yet, Josh. Oh. 
probably. Twitter bought them right before it came out, I guess. Huh. Uh, so it's all integrated. It's six seconds of video to the point where um, you like kind of tap and it shoots video as you tap. And people have used this thing for like, you know, like do how to's kind of step by step animation. I kind of use it as an example since we were talking about frame by frame animation last week in my uh, flash class. Well, I saw Mikey's. Yeah, you've yeah, seen some of Mikey's. Yeah, make, Mikey and Big Bob have been doing a lot make of Make his ones. daughter disappear. Yeah, yeah. And then what was it? White Snake in the bathroom? White Snake bathroom jam was pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them, well, I did applaud them on Twitter for uh, their the high percentage of them that involved poop yeah. um, in, in some context. So, so yeah, there's Bob that. Went, Bob went pretty crazy in the bathroom. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. White Snake bathroom jam. Yes, he did. Riz, what's your experience been with with uh, the vines so, so far? I didn't use it yet. You didn't use it yet. I, I didn't even see what I didn't see that. I just know from the experience that you guys had mm -hmm. how awesome mm -hmm. that is. And, and, and this is kind of like a tout ish thing, but there's it's it's even shorter again, only six seconds. Uh, it seems better than tout. It seems better yeah, because it there's already less to do seems with it. it already seems better than tout. It seems easier because, and it's integrated you can with actually Twitter. Do yeah. stuff with it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, interesting stuff. It's more than just like video, and they're not trying to integrate <laughs> the it in, in Monday squat. Night Raw, right? The morning squat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mikey and Bob morning squat. squat. Yeah, I don't know if I, there's an easy way for me to even just pull up just their vines. Like there's not, not like much of a web interface for it yet. It's like I said, it's integrated with Twitter itself. But those guys tweet so much, I'll never find it. Um, but there's there is an additional thing. Um, this is my my awesome thing of the week addendum uh, because there's also this other thing called VinePeak.com. Now, if you're on video, you can see this, and 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 this is all unfiltered. So so. Come right now. There's a plate of chicken that looks delicious. <laughs> so, Hi, basically, uh, what it does is it, 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 it's it's uh, yes. hit the vine uh site Hi, Daddy. for I you know, it basically up. posting whatever is the yes. latest vine it can find. And it keeps loading a new one and a new one and a new one and a new one, <gasps> you know, every six or how, however many seconds. So, I could just sit here and watch these. My wow. eyeball one is freaking me it out. It is kind of freaking me out. So yeah, yeah that, so that yoga that's class absolutely sucked. Somebody I didn't think that was around. yoga. I don't know. I guess she's talking to us now. It's not yoga. No, she's Go. doing some kind of yoga. Oh, this shit. is yoga. Oh. <laughs> There's a giraffe. You know, I mean, you you could just like put this in the corner while you're working and just be entertained for hours, right? I could. You could. I have the attention span of a gnat. Yeah. That would work for me. Because <laughs> I I could. I would see it. I would look away. It would be something different when I come back. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it, so. I mean, that that. I don't know. I don't really know if Vine is going to be a, a long term thing. I think. I it, hope so. This feels like a fact. From a from a uh, spectator standpoint, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. hope this is there forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, we had this discussion about Tout. Like, well, Tout. You know, I felt like Tout was the next big thing because it made it so much easier to do video, and yeah. it was only fifteen seconds, so you can screw it up. This is only Who six seconds. Who here still Touts? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Who right? here never touted? <laughs> so, so you have six seconds. So it's even less annoying. Should be right. And but but it also Should turns be. it into like an anime gift that loops. Yeah. Which which is some other interesting. I thought about I, before I before you told me that it was for iOS. I was gonna make a one of my uh, my clone troopers humping, but. <laughs> <laughs> now that I found out that it's iOS only, and I can't. I'm sure they're coming out with one uh, eventually for you. Good, because I got a sweet ass camera on this phone, and I really <laughs> like to use it to make uh, clone troopers hump. Uh, Frizz, do you have anything you want to find? Uh, um, I can't say it on air. Oh, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. Well, speaking yep. of things you can't say or show on air, Vine did have a little bit of problems. Like as I was looking for some samples and site stuff, just was it chat dig, roulette? Digging through your bag acid. over there. What are you doing, man? I was getting stuff out of my bag. Okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> man. He's like he's rummaging during the show. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Um, but no, I, there was some controversy because, of course, uh, something like this that's very popular that involves video. Um, what are you gonna get on it? Porn. It did kind of turn into chat roulette to the point chat where on acid. apparently uh, one of the uh, 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 more risque videos, uh, I think involving a penis, uh, ended up on an editor's pick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When the editors are awesome at, at this place. <laughs> so they uh, attributed it to human error and they did not get booted off of the app store, which was the big thing because there's a, a 500px app 
which is kind of like a photo buying sharing app. And I guess there was some nudity on it, but it's artsy. So they took it down and made them do a uh, do something to it because it could be registered as porn or something because of Apple's policies. Anyways, so I'll be watching this Vine Peak for the rest of the episode, and you guys have fun, right? No. No? Oh. No. You took off last week. That's you right. you to do double the work. <laughs> Chachi, what's your awesome thing of the week? I got two things for you, sort of. Okay. One. It's a bottle. It's a this bottle. is a bottle of Arizona sweet tea. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know they came in bottles. You didn't? No. All I've ever seen is the giant cans. <laughs> you ever seen, like, the giant bottles? No. Yeah, they just make like wide these. bottles of those. Just these. <laughs> these are. This is the first bottle I've seen. That blew my mind. Um, other than that, Oya is being sold in pretty much every available outlet possible. Ooh, ooh yeah, I thought. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kool Aid man, that stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be sold at Best Buy, Target, and GameStop for ninety nine dollars. Blew my season. mind. Try <laughs> that. <laughs> low of a price no well, that's how much it was on the I, I site thought that was the target oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay but, but but the fact that it's out in outlets like that 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 means yeah i thought i thought i was gonna have to go online and order one of these this, and it'd be back ordered that forever. makes this a whole different ball game this is a whole right. different ball game this is uh uh this is a triple a ball player getting invited <laughs> up for a game in the majors it is it is <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a minor league hockey player getting to skate with the pens. You got to think about it. I mean, th I mean, this is this turns it into really like the Roku of, of video game consoles, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, ninety nine bucks, so you can get your Angry Boards and and your Minecraft and all that other kind of stuff. It's still cheaper than like even an Xbox three hundred and sixty to get something like a Minecraft, uh, which is going to be they already vowed to be on the system. Uh, who knows what else they're going to get? It's going to be a lot of independent developers, I'm sure, but a lot of those really casual games. But now you got casual games on your, you know, on on your TV. Well, who knows what else they're going to build into this thing? This thing's going to buy three of them. You're going to buy three of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just for each level of the house yep. or what? Yep. I'm gonna pull That'll one probably the uh, be the actual price of the PlayStation Three. Yeah. So or four mm -hmm. coming out, so you'll be all set. Yeah. I, well, you know, I'm not buying a PlayStation Four. So. I, neither am I. <laughs> yeah, I would be very surprised. You know. Yeah. They, they'd have to pull something out of their butts for that. And they, yeah. but that's a, oh, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Talk yep. about it a little later. Um. But yeah, so 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 the retail price is ninety nine dollars for the console with one controller. An extra pad will be forty nine ninety nine, which is comparable to every other system. It is that's available it is comparable. Right it is comparable. Although if you go on the Ouya site, uh, they're just thirty dollars. Um, although you do have to pay ten ten dollars more to get it uh, shipped. Um, right. They admit that the the, the fifty dollars is a premium price for the controller versus the inclusion the touchpad makes up for it. So, uh, and there have been a little bit of complaints from developers for the controller. So we'll see how that shakes out here in the next few months. But still, I mean, I think just the access point and controllers can be improved upon easily, right? Right. So it's a simplistic piece of hardware. It is. It is. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the original Xbox. Right. Everybody hated that first controller. It was this giant, massive piece of plastic, and, and they evolved it with a DS controller, wasn't it? Yeah. And 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 they never looked back, you know. Um, and they got it all right with the with the 360. They learned. The 360 controller, in my opinion, is perfect. Yeah, it's the best. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest Easily. controller I've ever held in my hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Aesthetically. Mm -hmm. um, Personally, Look, I, I will never get over the feel of an NES controller in my hand, mm -hmm. but that's just deep inside me. I just have one in my hand right now, <laughs> and you can actually, if you've never held one of these before, my thumbs are right here. It's perfect for small hands like mine. Mm -hmm. Buttons up top, mm -hmm. not not too clunky, not too, you no. Know, I mean, you can still beat people over the head with it, but still, it's still everything is right there. Not and saying it's I even better beat. without a cord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much better. <laughs> See, <laughs> awesome. For uh, the audio listeners, I took out my cord. <laughs> uh, Riz, do you have an awesome thing of the week? Is there something that's been uh, been been really getting you excited uh, lately um, in tech? I actually 
found a few apps that I want to share with you guys right now. Okay. Uh, base, basically, there are two games that I found. Mm-hmm. One is an is Slenderman. Is Slender? How do you spell that? It's Slender. Okay. <laughs> Slender Rising. It's called. And it's pretty much if you uh, if you ever played Slender, it is dubbed the scariest game ever. Oh well, first first glance, like uh, this kind of looks. Hold on, I want to bring up a video here. Um, so, Do this so freaking this again a, because my so recording a, thing. It's a scary game. <laughs> It's free top left corner. on iOS right now. Uh, moving okay. from my controls and is there's this one more on I the left side. Um, and then looking around is on the right side of the screen. Ghostbusters on you iOS. All the way. You oh, this is right now, now. Is this, this, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what Ghostbusters game is this? I'm wondering if this is the one that I have. Ghostbusters. I just found it like a few minutes ago. Because <laughs> I, I was... It just says Ghostbusters by Beeline. Okay. Um, because the one I have is like a um, an augmented reality uh-huh. game where I can like point around, like it will actually show me a map of my area and show me where the ghosts are, and I can go there, and I can like I'm like pointing at Chachi, and uh, I, I'm pointing at it's- Chachi, and the ghost is there, like Slimer is above his head and stuff. Is Chachi a ghost? So, um, let's see, I can collect my reward. And uh, do, 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 let me see if I, I can kind of show you what goes on when I fight the ghost. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, go ahead. Is that mostly... Is that the one, same one? Ooh! No. It's lots of noises. Lots of it's noises on this It's so basically kind of Facebook. So this is it. I got a ghost, like... I got a ghost, like... Maybe I'll show it. It'll show him behind me or something. So, like, see, it is me. But the ghost is, like, on the other side. So, I don't know if I can show it over here. Oh, there he is. There he is, right in front of me. If you're on video. And then I'm supposed to, I I can, like, touch this, like, zap them and stuff and throw it a trap. And it's pretty cool. What's the one that you found? It's the one, I'll show it right here. Uh, There we go. It's kind of, it's actually the cartoon version. I don't have either of those on Android. (laughs) (laughs) And it's pretty much, you go ahead and fight. Slimer. All right, I think I, I think I found the one that you're talking about. Here, I'll, I'll yes. pull up a video here so you can see a little bit better with it. It's like 25 minutes of uh, <laughs> of stuff here. Oh, and it's got an ad too. Um, so yeah, it's basically based off the. So the, it's like uh, it's the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Yeah, they're real Ghostbusters. All right, that's cool. But it it, it just says Ghostbusters, so kind of false advertising. So, so- Not that good, but it's just something interesting I got on here. Mm-hmm. Is that you? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you Taking doing? Ghost. <laughs> what are you playing? Uh, it's just called Catch or uh, Ghost Meter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so 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 Riz, you got it. That's uh, again Ghostbusters and Slender Rising. Yes, sir. On yours. So I'm gonna go uh, try to grab those here during the show myself. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that app that I just downloaded. Yeah, that made lots of noises. Yeah. I was trying to figure out. I was like, is that the video I'm playing? No, or uh, that's what I thought on. it was. I thought you you were playing with a sword. No, no. I'm trying no. to catch the ghost. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to grab those. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the meantime, there. Uh, so what else is going on, guys? Uh, I don't know what news. I don't know. For us. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna watch Vine Peak for the rest of the uh, so we, thing. So hey, uh, so wouldn't you love <laughs> if we could get rid of Skype? I would. I'm always looking for alternatives for Skype because come on, right? right. They're so, listening to us. Sorry. I know. I know. So there's a story I saw. Uh, how about Chrome and Firefox working together? Okay. That right. sounds like a match made in heaven. Does it? 
It does. Does it? What? How about how about Chrome and Skype working together to do a uh, cross browser video talk? You mean Chrome and Firefox? Firefox? What did I say? Skype. Skype. Oh no, no, screw Skype. Um, <laughs> so basically, they're supporting a standard called WebRTC. Um, and they Hi, it's it. Todd Simpson Jordan over at Mozilla. I'm going to show you the latest Firefox developments in WebRTC. Here you can see I'm just going to a web page, a web page so that supports WebRTC. Uh, Firefox asked me for permission to use the camera and microphone, which I give it. To support the WebRTC, you see his video. All over to our friends at Google. And we got two. Hey, Todd, how are you? I'm great, too. How about yourself? Nothing else going on. It's good to be making the call today between Chrome and Firefox using WebRTC. I think for the like, folks at home, I should start by introducing myself. You take our child. Um, my name is Hugh Finnan, and I work on the Chrome oh, Media Team, yes. focused like on WebRTC. Yeah. Something like that. Excellent. Yeah, yeah and I'm Todd Simpson. I think Firefox and Google Chrome were at a party together, and Firefox roofied Google Chrome. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I think happened. So, so Firefox took advantage of Google? Yes. Hmm. I think you don't think it would be the other way around? Yeah, no. I, I, think, I think Google would be the overbearing uh, uh, no. date in this nope. instance. No. No? Nope. Art. Google is the, uh, the vulnerable popular kid. <laughs> out, of, <laughs> out of their element. <laughs> And Firefox just uh, happened to get them at the party and slip a little something, something into it. Oh, Tom, Tom in the chat room says that uh, 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 Google was asking for it. Hey, sorry. Google about that. was asking for hey, it. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I, if you're on the podcast and stuff, it looks like we we had a little bit of a sound problem. Uh, I, I it should be fixed now uh, with with the YouTube. So uh, sorry about that. We forgot to uncheck a box. Oh, so, yeah, it's that thing again. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. I had to update that. Um, Google is the old guy at the bar, it says. Yeah. Google's not the old guy at the bar. Fire, Firefox Google's innocent. Firefox walked up and whipped its out. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> well, I, was, I edited myself. You did, you did. Hey, Chachi, now yeah. you work in IT. Are you concerned about things like uh, uh, vulnerabilities in like Java, Silverlight, Adobe Reader? Is that something that you Google come across uh, every day? Uh, even if I were concerned about such things, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not allowed to be concerned about such things because such things would shut us down. Okay. <laughs> I We're not allowed to uninstall Java. Okay. Uh, because that will literally close our business. Because uh, you need it for like, certain applications and Everything. stuff. Everything. So, so, so it, it's open. You have to. You, yeah, you have to we use have it. to. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it, it's been there's been a lot of vulnerability, vulnerabilities lately. A lot of issues with uh, like the Mac version of it because they kind of recompile it and it's not entirely the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, Firefox again, sticking with those guys, uh, they're stepping up a little bit here. Uh, so what they've done uh, here, uh, again, this article from The Verge, they're going to be adding click-to-play for Silverlight, Java, Adobe Reader, and outdated versions of Flash. So things that are prone to vulnerabilities, right? Right. So basically whenever I come across a page that has a lot of these applets in it, like they're shown in this picture here, uh, it'll come up and say, do I want, basically, do I want to see this? Which is kind of nice because if you're going through certain sites, like I know, you know, particularly, with, you know, I don't, I try to get to the clean ones these days, but as you know, pro wrestling uh, uh, news sites are pretty horrible with their ads, and then some of them so are, are pretty porn sites. Po and so are porn sites mm -hmm. and, and and stuff that's not as like questionable even. Like right. you could be going like looking up, I don't know, political news sites or something, and they have just really bad schemes where they have, uh, uh, you know, some ad network that happens to have all this crap in it, right? right. So in this case, you go YouTube. through something like that, and, and you get this notification, hey, here's an applet. Is this something you want to see? Do you trust this site? So it won't automatically load. You don't have to worry as much about the vulnerabilities, hopefully on sites where they would be taking advantage of anything like this. Uh, do you think this is a good idea, or is it just going to become too annoying for the user in the long run? And maybe they'll, I mean, will they get them off uh, Firefox for one thing? Chuch? I hope not. You hope not? Well, I mean, I like Firefox. I don't like Chrome. Mm -hmm. I, kinda, I don't kinda, like Chrome at all. Kinda, I don't use it. It kind of depends on how. Uh, <coughs> it kind of depends on how annoying this thing is, right? 
and how much he used Java and everything. Right. Well, I mean, uh, as far as once you get it set, like I'm sure there's going to be an always allow option. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I mean, once you get it set for the websites or the videos that you like, mm -hmm. then I'm sure you're good to go. So it's that first bit. Yeah. You know, if you're like you like know. anything, anytime you're setting up a new browser, yeah. there's going to be a, a huge adjustment point and it's going to suck. Mm -hmm. But I mean, once you get it done, you're fine. I got a question uh, on the Chrome <laughs> side. Is it is, is your thing just the browser itself or do you have issues with it with IT? Well, as far as uh, browsers that we use in my my corporate field we only use ie okay um we're not allowed to use firefox or chrome because they don't work with our applications yeah which is a, which is a common thing um you, you have something that was pretty much built around ie in general right, right. and so you're, you're kind of stuck with it and that's, i, I that's mean a, it's to the point where uh now there's security holes in which people can install firefox or chrome mm -hmm. without uh admin credentials and if they call in to get help with something and they're using Firefox or Chrome, mm -hmm. then we tell them to shut it down because that's what's causing the problem. Yeah. Yeah. You just say it's your policy and you have right. to do it. But I mean, that's just the way you guys are. I know with Chrome, uh, for us, we have them on the Macs at, uh, at the school and and i was like hey some of the stuff doesn't work right but it works fine on my laptop uh apparently they have to do some interesting things with it because of that auto update feature right which i'm sure it would be a concern for any it person right so but hey, hey helpful for the rest of us though as far as chrome goes i just don't like it yeah uh, it, it's not it doesn't flow as well as firefox for me because mm -hmm. so. it's a vulnerable little uh girl right and he's taking getting taken advantage of Right, right. Well, apparently, I no, I'm not going to make that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I like Chrome. Sorg, <laughs> Sorg is the uh, the popular kid that's getting roofied at the party. <laughs> I'm the ruffian that's ruffian. I don't even know. Um, ruffian. That's a fun word. <laughs> and again, I think I apologize. Yes, there's a, probably a dog barking that you guys can hear in our eh? kennel. Our kennel of dogs. <laughs> wait, wait. We found them all homes. I know. We did find them all homes. I know. So, so they'll be lessening here in about a week, I think. Who wants this dog? Although I think that's mine that's barking, so it doesn't help anything. <laughs> um, but it's instigated, damn it. Who wants this dog? <laughs> Who wants this dog? We'd be selling them here on the show, right? Um, Ollie Williams, family guy style. So. Who wants this puppy? You want this puppy? <laughs> Who's excited for Blackberry? Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Even with Alicia Keys? Nope. She came uh, back. I, g I give you Alicia Keys, but no. Oh, you're more excited for Alicia Keys than you are I'm for more Blackberry. excited about Alicia Keys. So the announcements came out. The company is now no longer RIM, so you can save all those jokes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. RIM shot. Oh. But I'm and, uh, I mean, they were showing it off. It's going to be – it's actually not even going to be in the United States here until March. Right. Uh, a few other We places, don't want it. But then it, you know, we don't want it. It'll be on every care round about uh, two hundred dollars. Uh, I think this was a uh, if the model I believe was the Z10 that they're going to be putting out here. Um, Is it thinner than this? I I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't get much look at. It. Apparently the soft keyboard's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, the Is it thinner store, than this? I, I I don't know. I don't have a comparison point, man. I don't, I, I, and that is pretty thin. That is that is nice and thin there. Yeah. That isn't, that isn't. I can't even accurately show you how thin it is on the camera. <laughs> I can't find the angle. <laughs> Point it at the camera, Chach. There, there you go. go. There you go. Now it's disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> now you can't see it. That's how thin it is. It's ridiculous. It is It is completely ridiculous. I. Are you beyond the fear of, of it snapping in half yet, Chach? Oh, yeah. I've dropped the damn thing. You've dropped the damn thing. It's, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty okay then. Remember the conversation we had about not dropping our phones in the toilets because we're guys? Yeah. I almost dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, batted it away. Like, it fell out of my one hand. I batted it away with the other. <laughs> and it kind of just, like, it, it kinda just, like, helicoptered through the air. <laughs> Do you have, like, a protection plan on it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I have full that's insurance good. on this thing. <laughs> I am clumsy like, as hell when it comes to phones. How many of those did you go through the last time? Two. 
two. Uh huh. Three, two of them. One of them was my fault. The other one wasn't. Okay. Uh, the first one I got a replacement on the video cable on it. Mm-hmm. Started going because I opened and closed it too much. Which it was a sliding keyboard. It is, surprisingly enough, is the same thing that, or not the same. I had a similar problem when I had Sidekick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you text too much. No, it has nothing to do with that. You cannot give me a phone with moving pieces <laughs> and expect me not to play with it. The phone before the Sidekick, it was a, a standard uh, flip phone. Mm-hmm. But it had a button that you pushed and it would flip open. You did that all day. Hell yeah, I did that all day. Who that's wouldn't? Why, that's why I like my like like if I have a little hangy piece like like off of my case, I'm playing with it until it and comes then, off. Basically. And then you, you and then I moved up to the sidekick. the The first sidekick was just a straight up and down moving screen that you would move and there'd be the keyboard. Yeah, but the other one was like a like the a, one a, after that was like was a, a complete swivel. Yeah, it was like a switchblade when it came out. And I got so good at it that I would sit there with one hand, push the screen, and it would go, zoop, and then I'd be like, whoosh, and close it. <laughs> wait, so- wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn, I got it. Hold on, hold on a second. I got to bring this up because uh, the chat room just brought it up. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh, bring up their page here. Give me one second. One what? second. What oh. is it? I don't have it up. I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, the guys just brought up in the chat room a uh, Nokia N-Gage. Your point is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Do you guys remember the N-Gage? Yes. Was it, yeah. it was a crazy-ass phone. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. If you had yeah. to take the battery out. So it was, for those who don't know, the Nokia N-Gage was Nokia's attempt to do a game console phone. This it's, is pre-iPhone. They sold yeah. them at GameStop. You had to get a data plan and everything. It was like $200 on contract, so it was kind of ridiculous. And uh, like I said, you had to, when they had, they sold, they had like Tomb Raider on this thing and stuff. Um, there, there's a shot of it right there. I think that's the first edition of it. That um, looks horrible. The game. <laughs> But you had to take your battery out to take put the phone, the game in. That was horrible. Um, so yeah. But you know, you know what the weird thing was though. Hmm. I wanted one. You still wanted everyone one. No, wanted I, one. I, I wanted one. But now I have one it's called an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, and the I iPhone have one called did it a little better, right? <laughs> in the long run, I have yeah, one iPhone called did it a lot better. I have one called an Android and. <laughs> We're playing games on these yeah. things, you know. I, we, we have like we have like Grand Theft Auto, and we don't have to deal with cartridges, right? Or CDs. Right. Nothing it's in my hand. Yep, it's all inclusive. Uh, we're living in the future, gentlemen. We living are. in the future. It's so, 2013. We're talking about the N gauge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I is? can pay for stuff with my cell phone. Yeah, I, you can order Welcome pizza. Welcome to the future, Movo. I've ordered pizza with my cell phone. I've ordered, uh, I think, no, I don't think I've done Chinese yet. I've ordered stuff off of Amazon through my cell phone. Um, I, okay. I, I paid bills through my, my, my cell phone. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah. I set my DVR from work. On your cell phone? On my cell phone. <laughs> I can control my Roku through myself. I can control I can my Xbox. My, uh, thank you. You can control your Xbox through your cell phone. It's yep. ridiculous. You got that up there? I'm getting it right now. There you go. Loading. <laughs> you can load different apps. You, you, you can search for stuff. You can you, you can straight up control it. Uh, it it's ridiculous. We are, we're, we're living in the future, and it's fantastic. Yes. You know, I mean, I, wait, wait, look at the, the power is in my pocket. Chachi, look, look at what we do every every other week for Unsung here. Yeah. Where I we have I have an iPad that's a teleprompter and I control it with my phone wirelessly yeah. while I'm filming on the other side of the camera. Sometimes it works. So, I mean, sometimes it works. I think we got it down pretty sometimes well. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. <laughs> right. Um, but anyways, all of these wireless technologies and stuff. Um, hey, you know, I always um, I actually have uh, somebody I work with who who, uh, and, and I hear this every once in a while. Uh, and I just want to throw this out to you. I mean, this this isn't on anything. I, I just just I, I, a good conversation. Are you guys worried about all of the uh, wireless signals we have coursing through our bodies? Nope. 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 <laughs> well, no. And, and you always yell at me because I always have a simplistic answer. Mm-hmm. But I can actually expand on it. Please expand on it. 
the more wireless signals I have traveling through my body, mm-hmm. the higher the chance is that I'll become a superhero. Good answer. Good answer. So, Good answer. screw you, technology. <laughs> Zap me. I want to become a superhero. Uh, uh, Riz, are you uh, also enamored with thoughts of becoming a superhero due to the technology coursing through your body? I'm all for it. Okay. <laughs> I am all for that. You know, it's just one of those things where, like, I realize, like, I at every chance I can get, I attempt to make something wireless. Right. You know, I mean, we have I have two routers in this house to try to make sure every, every inch is covered, you know. Um... Uh, you know anything you know we got wireless controllers for our xbox we got wireless you know anything we're doing the the teleprompter bluetooth between my phone and my ipad i'm open i you know uh, i I rode in the car with somebody that was bluetoothing his his car phone through uh from his android and everything yeah his car phone (laughs) Remember car phones? Like, everyone, you watch a movie from like the 90s or something where they have like a wired car phone and you're like, oh my God. Um, yeah, it's just, just, just thinking about that. It's the future. Hey, you know what else is coming up in the future? Apparently, a really bad Steve Jobs movie. Oh, uh, wait, which one? The, the, the one that's just called Jobs with uh, Ashton Kutcher. I heard that was supposed to be good. Hi, there's a clip out. There's a clip out. And it doesn't look very good. And you obviously didn't talk to Steve Wozniak about that. (laughs) No, apparently not. Apparently not. Because Steve Wozniak, here, according to The Verge, again, this is something I'd lined up for last week, so I know it's a little age, uh, but I wanted to talk about it here. Uh, He turned down offer to work on Jobs after reading an early script. Quote, I felt it was crap. Well, there goes any hope of that movie being successful ever. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, look how woefully uh, not fact-driven the Facebook movie was. But, but the Facebook movie was good. It was good. It, it, was, it was a was good, good movie. It was a well-written movie. And We're I not looking for facts. We're no. looking for good movies. Exactly, exactly. And I can't, but and if Wozniak no. is saying that the movie is crap, mm-hmm. that means it's not even a good movie. Like there's a, there, The scene they show is like them in a parking lot where Steve Jobs is basically explaining how like, how an operating system works to Steve Wozniak. Where do I start with what's wrong with that? <laughs> you know, I mean, it just, I, Wait, well, you know, don't get me wrong. Again. Don't, don't get me wrong. What's you, the scene about? It's basically, he was explaining to Steve Wozniak how an OS worked and why they should, they should make personal computers and stuff like that. Um, now, now granted, Granted, you broke Chachi. The fine sir. people, yeah, he's broken over there. He's <laughs> wait, Chachi. I want to make it better. I want to make because I don't think we've talked about this on the show. I'm now the, sure the, there's blood coming out of my ear. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now Aaron Sorkin, who did the Facebook movie that we all enjoyed for you know for whatever reason, that was Aaron Sorkin. That was Aaron Sorkin. I had no idea that was Aaron Sorkin. It was that explained so much. Yeah, but but uh, uh, side note, Chachi is on a West Wing binge right now. I finished it in like a week. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not seasons? kidding. Holy I'm crap. not kidding. I finished West Wing in like a week. I have to step up my pace here. Uh, wow, um, that explains so much. I, I'm driven. I'm driven by things that he writes. Uh huh. Because no matter how fast the dialogue is going, uh huh, I can follow it. Yeah. And it flows so well, it and does. it's, it's well like art. written. It's, so it's artistic, amazing. Even politic is- That's, that blows my mind. Hey, awesome cats! Do you know what blew my mind this week? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Well, have you watched Sports Night yet? Uh, no, you should. You should. It, it's in You'll my. Like it. It's in my. Hey, you watched West Wing? You'll <laughs> like this. <laughs> well, really, in the long run. Um, but that's that's the great thing because anybody that doesn't know what computers are about you listen to that and it's like wow i understood it even though i don't understand anything that they actually said right. same thing with west wing i don't understand anything about what they actually said about <laughs> politics but i could follow along right and it was it was so well done and well he's going to do a steve jobs one actually based on the official biography okay that has the chachi says stamp of approval okay, now now check out this concept apparently the entire movie is only going to be three scenes Wait, what? Only three scenes. This is this is what I'm here. Uh, now I can't remember. It, it, one is like 
And they're all like before he's going out for a presentation. Like one is like the when he comes back from Apple. One I think when he's unveiling the iPod, uh, and like one from like way back when he unveiled like the original Mac. <laughs> that can't be possible. It, it has to be all flashbacks. It, it is. It, you think so? It would have yeah, to be. So it could be. You know, it could be. It could. It, it could be those three scenes, and it's all bouncing back and forth yeah, between it would all have of them. To be, it have to be a lot of flashbacks mm-hmm. because I, I, if it's working the way in my mind that I it, that it would work, mm-hmm. then what's happening is he's about to go on to give a presentation and present like something new, and uh, someone like a news uh, press person is asking him questions. Yeah, and he's basically uh, telling them everything that happened. So I I, I think it would. And that would be that would be good because then it takes out the whole Steve Jobs is a giant asshole thing. Mm -hmm. And I I apologize for the language, but uh, it would take out that whole Steve Jobs attitude era uh, thing that a lot of people seem to focus on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would it would tell you uh, and on and of course it wouldn't. It wouldn't be 100% because the man's dead, but no. uh, it would be more so from Steve's point of view than from an outsider's looking in point of view, mm-hmm. which uh, Silicon Valley was. That, and that is the, that's the other discussion, too, because really, wasn't Pirates of Silicon Valley like the pinnacle of, uh, of Steve Jobs' movie in the long run? It was the pinnacle of both yeah. Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. You don't see anybody doing a Bill Gates movie. Well, not, it's not dead yet. He's not, dead, it's not yet. dead yet. No. Yeah. But I really don't think it's as compelling as as like that 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 movie with the pairing of them. Right. Right. Well, that's the story everyone wanted. Yeah. And everyone still wants. Everyone wants to see. Not they don't care. Not it's not that they don't care. They they don't care as much about Steve Jobs after Bill Gates wasn't in constant contact with them. Why well, you do? Are you mean the other way around? What am I saying? Because you. Because they don't care much about Bill Gates, except for after when Steve well, Jobs was in constant contact. Right. Because Steve Jobs well, still is a very compelling well, person afterwards. Yeah, what I'm saying is no one, like, all right, so we all know that Steve Jobs left Apple after being forced out and went to do other things. Including Next and Pixar. We, we're all aware <laughs> Which, of this. Which, by the way, took over Disney. Yes. We're all aware of this. hmm But... If you were to ask random people, mm-hmm. they'd be more interested in hearing about how Steve Jobs and Bill Gates faced off for so long mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. than they would. And with the competition, they want the winner. Right. Mm-hmm. So, they. I mean, yeah. The end of the Steve. Or the end of the movie could be. Oh well, Steve Jobs ultimately won, or Bill Gates ultimately won. They don't care about that. They want to see all the stuff that happened to lead up to unless, that point. Unless it turns around, because I think one thing one thing you can do with this movie is much like Facebook was a very, um, I say, in the entrepreneurial spirit. Like, like I feel like Facebook is one of those things that will make entrepreneurs, our young kids, to see it and get it. Um, I I think like the Steve Jobs story, start to finish, is something similar to that. Because it was somebody that, you know, thought different, whatever your cliche thing is there. Right. Um, you know, a way you look at things, a way you went about things, a way you kind of didn't take no for an answer. Listen. Um, and, I, and I think a similar story can be told there. as much as the next guy. Mm-hmm. Then Steve Jobs made me want to go out and put on a black turtleneck and tell everyone to go after themselves. I'm going to do my way. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. You do that anyways, and you don't have a uh, black turtleneck. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah, at least one black turtleneck. Yeah, in your, turtlenecks uh, aren't really my thing. No, 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 they're they're constrictive. They make me even more angry, if you can believe it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> is that possible? Yeah, it, it is. Hmm. Have Sony present something new. I'll show you how angry I get <laughs> tomorrow. So, so we are doing a hangout on the twentieth. <laughs> Oh, 20th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, ultimately, it doesn't matter who does a Steve Jobs movie. I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. So will you. Yeah, and yeah. I'll go see this, even if it's one of those things where I'm like, man, that was complete crud. What with the hell? Right. You know? Anyone, and, and it's very possible, and who knows, you know? With the exception of Rob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyone that's listening to this will most likely sit through a Steve Jobs movie, regardless of who does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, there's that. Um, what else is going on? You know, you guys heard about the CNET thing going on? The what? 
the, the CNET CES thing. So this is, I guess, I guess this is a less than awesome story, but I want to talk about the, the one or two things that are kind of included with it. Um, and I guess it deserves a little bit of uh, a discussion here. So basically, so, you know, CES, Consumer Electronics Show, we talked about a couple of things that came out of it here at the beginning of the year, right? No, tell me more. No. I've never no, heard of gonna. CES ever. I'm just saying this up, Chach. I'm just let me do a setup, okay? <laughs> I've I'm trying never, to segue I've setup. never offered to do things in a truck stop bathroom to go to CES. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> Tell me more, Chach. No. Were you Google? <laughs> or E three for that matter. Were you chromed? No, I wasn't chromed. <laughs> Anyways, um <laughs> Well this makes the story better. Could that be um, a title? Tell us more was from the chat room. <laughs> CES truck stop. <laughs> title, please put that down, please. Uh so okay. So CNET. It was pretty much the official partner of CES. They do the best of CES, right? Kind of the de facto, the name, and, you know, we... we well, <laughs> what? Are you still back on the trunk stop? No! <laughs> I keep laughing every time you look at me to talk. Because of the way the equipment's set up, your face is perfectly <laughs> framed with everything that is set up. You see, that's my design. That's my design there. Um, but sorry. this has worked out because I can look at yeah, you right. and I'm looking at the camera. It's, a perf it's and, like and, a it's, picture I, frame. I, I'm just like, there's Sork. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll Instagram a picture here. Um, anyways, anyways, um, CNET. Uh, so they did the best of thing, right? Now, you know, CNET's owned by CBS. They were bought a few years ago, right? <gasps> Yeah, I'm setting it up, Josh. For people that don't know, I don't know. We don't talk about this kind of thing all the time. I'm acting surprised. Okay, I'm at a suspense, um, making it more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the story. Um, damn, it, I forget where I was. I am making the show. So they're awesome. doing the best of. They're doing the best yes. of, and they they um selected apparently the uh dish network has a uh hopper which will let Papa. you uh, fit, you know uh automatically skip it's a dvr that lets you automatically skip commercials right turns out cbs is in a lawsuit as a you know company that has stations with commercials with the di with dish for this this object so they asked C they had cnet pull their top their uh, uh selection of it as the best of and there's a disclaimer on the site that it was pulled by CBS huh. mm. on behalf for CNET. And not only that, CNET has also apparently been forbidden from reviewing the Aereo following a CBS dish controversy. So the Aereo was the thing where there's a bunch of antennas somewhere, right? Yeah. And I sign up for this, say, if I'm in New York City. And this is actually uh, expanding out here to Pittsburgh and, uh, and like 21 other, other cities, right? Uh, so I subscribe to this, and I basically have an antenna that's out there, and I get whatever the local stations are. You know, if I'm, like, you know, on the wrong side of a hill, as you can often be here in Pittsburgh, of all places, um, and I want, I can't, like, for instance, I know I can't get Channel 4 in my living room, but I can upstairs. I just pay my seven, eight bucks a month for this, and I'll get all the stations, and I think there's actually a DVR function. So they're suing for this because it's a redistribution, supposedly, of, of their, their air rights, right? Um... Since uh, the CES has actually pulled CNET from their best ofs for future editions and are looking for applications for new places to their, do their best ofs. So CNET, you want the awesome cast to do your best of for CES. We're Let's here. Let's the application process. Mm -hmm. um, but no, what do you guys think of this? Well, first, uh, I, I love the, you know, kind of the side thing of this. Hey, Aereo is expanding. They're at least getting past the lawsuits enough that they're getting out of New York City and we're going to have them here, which could be a pretty good thing for cord cutters that maybe don't, you know, aren't, you know, don't have the option to put up an antenna and get all the stations that, you know, I've been fortunate to because I live on top of a hill. True. You know, so, uh, you know, what do you, first, what do you think of that? You know, the kind of expansion and this as kind of like a side option. Chachi. I don't really have an opinion. No. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it, I, I, I imagine it's a good thing, but mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really affect me. I'm not cutting my cord anytime soon. No, 
No, um, but in general. Yeah, I mean, in general, it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just see if it's affordable. It's not, well, let's say like seven, eight bucks a month. Oh, then that's fine. I think you can pay more if you want like more hours of DVR online. Mm-hmm. But it's cool because you can get it. It's on your, um, like on your computer. You can pull it up on your iPhone, on your iPad. Oh, you know, there's even a bunch as of devices a non-cord like that. Cutter, I think there's, buy that. I think there's a Roku one too. Yeah. So, so you'll have access to all that stuff. So basically it's like Netflix or Hulu Plus for local stations. Kind of, yeah. But I mean, it's streaming. I mean, it's yeah, like, it's streaming, like this yeah. is, this, I'm getting the reception over the internet instead mm-hmm. of over the air. Because it's the same price as like a Netflix or a yeah, yeah. Hulu, and it's giving you all the stations that you usually find on Hulu state on the Hulu Plus and a DVR option and a DVR option. It's even better than a Hulu Plus because then yeah. I got all those shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because like, because I mean, honestly, all the shows that I watch on Hulu Plus, which I'm paying for, mm-hmm. aside from the WWE stuff, which is exclusive to it, are over the air station stuff. Yeah, yeah, which I get for free. Right. But I'm paying – the way I look at it, I pay $8 a month for Hulu. Right. How much is a DVR? So, like I think it was like 15 A lot. Yeah. It's like 15 bucks a month for a DVR, yeah. which I'm getting relatively the same fee, the same thing. The only thing that I would swap up from this to Aereo for is that I could get everything non-restrictive. Because like for instance, stuff like The Simpsons is uh, web only on Hulu. Um Thankfully, there's enough stuff on Hulu that I'm interested. Like stuff that, like some of the uh, English stuff they have on there, like Misfits, the Kevin Smith got content on there. Uh, there's a few other exclusives, like uh, uh, um, you know, See, stuff from I Canada. Would... So I mean, I enjoy it, uh, content as a whole, but I like this as as a, a potential another option. At this point, I mean, from your description of it, mm-hmm. I, I you're selling me more on Aereo than Hulu Plus. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm pretty sure I would pay, even though I have cable and DVR. Why would you? No, wait, wait, isn't that a little repetitious on your part? Wouldn't it be streaming on your laptop too? Don't you already have like Xfinity that streams all this stuff? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. CBS? CBS pulls our stuff off there. So, and this way you would have a non restrictive yeah. access to CBS programming. And you know what? Uh, because of the stuff on CBS, mainly Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, which is none of that stuff is correct. Easily available. I, I mean, it's on their I website. Can get, it's I can under, get it, one episode of How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. On Xfinity, and I'm imagining that I could get one episode of Big Bang Theory. Yeah. But which is how it runs on their website. You can maybe get the last two episodes, and they they expire like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Which I mean, for seven to eight dollars a month. Yeah for access anywhere and you're paying for convenience at that point right and yeah. that's if you know me you know that's something i do you could go dvr all the rick seaback specials you want i know you can go go dvr all those he-mans that come on in the middle remind of the me to talk to you about that after the show <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i have an issue right now all right all right i know i've gone through the uh the the hot dog program addiction the kennywood story addiction i it just I mean, every night I turn on the TV and want to go to Permanis. Oh, my um, addiction yep. is I can't get my fix right now. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Uh, it must be a Dave and Dave month. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so <laughs> let's – oh, oh, that's uh, – I was like, why do I have a story about hardcore porn? That was a Vine story. Um, all right, with that, do you guys have anything tech uh, coming up you want to touch on before we head out of here, guys? Riz, uh, uh, other than other than the the tech problems last night on WWE, do we want to mention that here real quick, Riz? Um, I know you were, I, you were there I wasn't there for no. for that part, but I've heard from you guys that <laughs> the WWE app. I'll show it to you here if you don't know. I'll it pull up a picture. Video. Don't worry about it. You go and go and just it? tell us, and I'll pull up a picture here. All right. Well, last night they had a nice little uh, mishap, if you will. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. They told they told you to go vote for who you wanted in a match. Mm-hmm. My whole thing just buzzed four times, and then while it was up, it, it told you to vote. Yeah. So you no, know, it's good. And you know, it, it gives you three options who you want to vote for. Yeah, yeah. So, so Sorg. Yeah. You went on your your iPhone, uh-huh. iOS, or Google. Or well, on and, iOS. Uh, now, now, here's the thing, though. Nope. Now, now, okay. Now, typically they've been doing this. They used to do this through a thing for their website when they've done this, like in previous years, where you go in, you put a code in, like they, like that they generate to prove you're human, 
and, right. and, and you do vote it. Now, since they've, they've gone and used like hashtags on Twitter, since they've had the social media movement in the past year, right? So right. this time they're like, we want everybody to use the app to the point where they pulled up a video as they explained it of, this is how you go to the app store on an iPhone and download the app. And they repeated it over Did they repeat and over it again. again. Uh, well, they, 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 they usually do. They usually say like, hey, they usually show either one of the announcers do it or one of the wrestlers do it. But either way, we're getting off track here. Yeah, yeah. Sort. You yes. go on, you went on your iPhone. That's right. And, That's right. And you try so, to vote, and what happened? Nothing! <laughs> and apparently they came on and said, hey, there's a problem with the app, so go on the website and vote. And so what, what it happened didn't when work there it? either. <laughs> so, complete failure of technology. They pushed, I don't know, you gotta think. Well, they have this uh, interactive, a uh, raw active, they call it, uh, where you go through, and it's pretty cool. So there's these little polls. Who do you think does it better? Who, who do you think can, uh, you know, body slam the other guy or something like that? You know, pretty pretty mundane stuff, but it's interesting. It's it's in, they have tweets coming through, uh, and, and pictures and facts and videos uh, when they go to break and, of interviews and the match that you're missing. Uh, so, it's, it's pretty cool uh, as far as that goes. But the point where they they sent everybody to it so i think they they ddos themselves uh because everybody went to it you gotta think this thing is hitting their server somewhere right so all those people hit the app hit their server they overloaded they fail weld basically <laughs> um and, and in a scramble they tried throwing on the website and it didn't work for whatever reason so so there you go wwe technology failed I, i'm so i'm honestly surprised it took them this long to do it to have that problem oh. So, Fist failure. Um, but yeah, well, they, they almost had that problem before too. When, when, when was that? Like, remember during the award shows when they tried to do that and you couldn't get on? Mm, yeah, and, yeah, that's happened before. Okay, I guess yeah. I guess the set's, website's done that too. So, <laughs> did WWE use a Blizzard Diablo three server? I must be it—a retrofitted uh, Diablo three uh, server or something. So, uh, there you go. There you go, guys. Thank you. I think it was a it was a good show. Yeah, it was a good show. I think it. I You're think it welcome, Sword. Well. Thank you, Riz. I had fun. Thank you, Riz, for joining You're us. Welcome. He's over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and InsertCoinToBegin.com. The mm -hmm. tweeter is at the E Riz. The E Riz. It's two Z's. Two E's. Two, two E's. E's. What, you, what you got? Anything coming up you want to talk about? I got nothing. No, no. Will we see a Chacha plays? Oh. You'll see me at Chachi Plays. Chachi Plays. Chachi Plays. Chachi Plays. Chachi Plays. And then there's the guy Chacha Plays. who's hey, going to be playing I'll play. for 24 hours. Chachi's going to play for 24 for hours. Kids. For kids. Got lots of slots. I do have lots of slots. Uh, I dropped the price to $25. So if you'd like we to. We got a lot of donations. There's no way we're getting the slots to play with you, right? No. Are you stinky after no. three well, hours? No, I'm sure I, I, I have a stench going after <laughs> the first, like, 14 hours or so. But, you know, uh, it's not that bad. I didn't think and so. I always take deodorant to refresh. There you go. So. ChachiPlays.com. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you can just hug Chachi if you mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. After after your session, you can just go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hug Chachi afterwards. That's right. right. Uh, tune into the live stream. We'll be going the entire 24 hours at ChachiPlays.com and here at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Yes. So please go check all that out. My boss tried to watch it. Yeah? And then he realized that I wasn't doing it yet, so the feed didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he told me that yesterday. All right. He's All like, right. you know, I was in my office and I was looking at your website, which I really like, by the way. He's like, uh, <laughs> so I had a dumb moment. I clicked on the watch now and expected it to work, Wait, even do, though. Do we have a watch now button? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. I think it says watch right here at this time. Yeah. Maybe, I don't, maybe he clicked on the right here thinking. It probably. Was like, I don't know. He's yeah. like, I clicked on the watch button and nothing happened. And I waited 30 seconds before I realized that you were right in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. That's amazing. I'm like, but if you really want to see it, I'm like, you can go watch the 10-minute uh, the uh, recap mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. done in 
fast speed exactly and uh this is the awesome hey i'm at mike you can get all that stuff of course sorgatron media.com uh, Sorg, what do you have going on i what don't i have going on i'm working on a documentary i'm working on this stuff i'm teaching something about flash and animation in the morning uh you know all kinds of stuff going on guys uh keep it up hey lots of videos i think i've i I think I've put up almost all the videos from PodCamp Pittsburgh 7 now. I'm going to go back through and see if anything's missing, but I think all of them have been processed for the most part, uh, except for one I think can think of off the top of my head. Uh, so go check that out at PodCampPittsburgh.com. Lots of stuff there, including uh, over at Sorgatron.com. I posted all of the Sorgatron Media family uh, 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 YouTubes from uh, uh, Ch- uh, sorry, P- PodCamp Pittsburgh, including uh, the We're Still Here and uh, my podcast podcaster uh, toolbox session and the awesome cast, of course, from PodCamp. So if you want to go check all that stuff, it is up. Uh, so you can go experience that and any other sessions that you may have missed. Good stuff there. A lot of podcast sessions. Really happy to see that. And with that, guys, hey, it's awesomecast.com to see all the past episodes and this one or share it with your friends. Contact at awesomecast.com. Twitter us at awesomecast. We're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. Uh, we're on Blip TV, on the Roku's and the YouTube's on your xboxes on the youtubes uh so go find us wherever is most convenient for you yeah uh, again tell your friends tell Yay. us what you like and don't like about the show on google and facebook and the twitters and thank you to our awesome chat room that's been hopping here all night thank you you've been an awesome audience have an awesome week awesome.